<laughs> hey, you know why Baker Mayfield didn't win Rookie of the Year? I'll tell you why. It's called racism. If ba Hey, if Barkley was white, they would have gave it to Baker. They didn't give it to Baker because they knew the African-American contention would be calling racism. Like, oh, my God, it's racism. Baker gets everything. They'd be crying. That's why. They would be literally fucking crying. I realize this award, which I could give a fuck about, to be honest. It's something that Baker will use to fucking be even greater. I realize it's nothing. But... I realize it has nothing to do with who's going to be the better future anyway, because, I mean, we all know if the Giants could trade Saquon Barkley right now and a number one draft pick for Baker Mayfield, they would! They would! But Baker, by far, had a better campaign. And look, Barkley's a running back. It's a passing league. All everyone did was key the pass last year against the Giants. They didn't give a fuck about the run. This cat clown, yeah, he got a bunch of yards from scrimmage on a, on a defenses that never cared about the run. They were defending. It's fucking a crock of shit. Saquon Barkley is good. But I got, I got news for you. He may not even be better than Nicholas GX Jobs. I'm serious. I don't understand it. Baker Mayfield took an organization that was irrelevant, 1-31 in 31 the last fucking two years, and just, I mean, this organization was the laughing stock of the National Football League, and just put it on his back and dominated as a rookie. Set the rookie. I mean, this guy sets the rookie passing record, touchdown record in, in 13 games? He was rookie of the week like seven times, Saquon Barkley twice? <laughs> All racism. If Saquon Barkley was white and Baker Mayfield was black, they would have gave it to Baker. They don't want to upset the African American culture on the motherfucking. And that's it. That's the truth. Because they, they would. You know that's story. How could you not give it to Baker Mayfield? And like I said, I could give a flying fuck because I know what we got at Cleveland. I mean, the running backs are a dime a dozen. But Baker Mayfield. I'm not saying Saquon Barkley's not good. And I realize it's not an all-time award like for the future who's going to be the better play. It's obvious Baker. But for this season, one guy sets the rookie touchdown record over Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, all these other guys, and took a team that was 1-31 in 31 the last fucking two years and a laughing stock, and a laughing stock this year, and he comes in and he dominates. Had him on the verge of the playoffs. And if he would have started all year, we would have been in the playoffs. So, yeah, fuck your goddamn Rookie of the Year award. I don't give a fuck. It just outrages me. It does. Because I really do believe if Baker Mayfield was black, they would have gave it to him over Saquon Barkley. Swear to God. I really believe it has to do with African American. They'd be like, because I think if Baker Mayfield was, um, because he's white, they'd be like, oh, Baker gets everything, this and that, this and whatever. This is going to drive Baker. He don't give a fuck. He might have lost money to Saquon Barkley, this and that. But like I said, I'm a Browns fan. I tell you right now, the New York Giants wish they had Baker Mayfield. Hey, the New York Giants would rather have Baker Mayfield right now. They would trade Saquon Barkley the number one draft pick for Baker Mayfield straight up right now. You know it. I know it. And guess what? Dave Gelhoff knows it too. You know who that is? I don't either. I think he's a general manager for the fucking Giants. Fuck you.